Hello everyone. My name is Kishan Agarwal. Today I'm going to present my AIT Tech Talk video of compiler design. And my topic is learning executable semantic parsers for natural language understanding. So, unlocking language. Natural language is the primary mode of human communication, conveying complex ideas, emotions, and intentions. So, understanding natural language is crucial for effective human-computer interaction and the development of intelligent systems. Semantic parsers bridge the gap between natural language and executable instructions enabling computers to interpret and execute natural languages language commands so as a human we often rely on languages to learn language for example when corrected in a conversation we may learn from the correction over time improving our language fluency inspired by this observation we propose a learning algorithm for training semantic parsers from supervision, that means feedback expressed in natural language. One R algorithm learns a semantic parser from users' corrections, such as no, what I really meant was before his job, not after, by also simultaneously learning to parse this natural language feedback in order to leverage it is as form of supervision. Unlike supervision with gold standard logical forms, our method does not require the user to be familiar with the underlying logical formal languages. And unlike supervision for denotion, it does not require the user to know the correct answer to their query. This makes our learning algorithm naturally scalable in setting where existing con conversational logs are available and can be leveraged as training data. We construct a novel database or data set of natural language feedback in a conversational setting and show that our method is effective at learning a semantic parser for such natural language supervision. So what are semantic parsers? Semantic parsing is a problem of mapping a natural language utterance into a formal, meaningful representation. Example, an executable logical form because, of, because the space of all logical forms is large but constrained by an underlying structure the problem of learning a semantic parser is commonly formulated as an instance of structured reduction. Historically, approaches based on supervised learning of structured prediction models have emerged as some of the first and still remain common in semantic parsing community. So we have traditional parsers as well as semantic parsers. So traditional parsers focus on syntactic analysis, ensuring the grammatical structure of natural language input is correct or wrong. While important, synt syntactic analysis alone is not sufficient for understanding the true meaning and intent of a natural language utterance, we go to the semantic parsers. So semantic parsers go beyond syntax to capture the semantic meaning, semantic lessons, feelings of the natural language input. The analysis, the analyze the word, phrases, and relationship within an utterance to derive a deeper understanding of the intended language. Language processing.
so for language processing we require first of all learning problem formulation then learning that is maximum posterior and minimum posterior and then task parser model we have then we have feedback parser model then data set data set construction and uh, model evaluation metrics so nlp natural language processing encompasses a range of techniques for understanding interpreting and generating human language natural language processing task includes machine translation sentiment analysis text summarization and chatbot development executable semantic parsers executable semantic parsers are a powerful tool for natural language processing enabling the translation of natural language commands into executable instructions this opens a world of possibilities for human computers to understand natural language processing in a different way so what are executable commands executable commands are the outcomes of semantic parsing translating natural language into actionable machine commands or queries that means the semantic parsing is done on the natural language that will convert the semantic or the natural language into machine commands or queries which can interact with machines to get the output of that query they enable machines to perform specific tasks based on human inputs for example book a flight from new york to london on december 25th translates to an actionable command for a flight booking system this is how our audio works this in includes proper semantic analysis so what is a uh, difference between syntax and semantics analysis syntax which governs the sentence structure and grammar which basically deals with the basic grammatical systems including question mark exclamation mark commas semicommas or semicolons and all whereas semantic analysis focuses on the meaning and interpretation of the words and sentences now we can say that syntax that is the grammatical notations that such as question mark exclamation mark describes a sentence but it is not the only way or you can say it is not the effective way of describing so that is importance in parser that means syntax determines the structural correctness whereas semantic ensures the accurate interpretation of the natural language so what are real world applications of this parsers or you can say natural language processing applications across domains that means virtual assistants robotics health care virtual assistants we can say facilitate seamless interactions by understanding and executing user commands it may be your google assistant or cd in apple they are virtual assistant or many applications which runs or or you can call it as assistants next is robotics which includes natural language processing to get your command or machine level command or query from your natural language next is robotics enabling robots to interpret and respond to human instructions so if a robot has to function properly in a natural language it can translate our natural language into executable code or executable instructions next is healthcare aided in medical information extraction and patient doctor communication 
examples and impact showcasing how this parses enhance efficiency and user experience in real life scenarios we have discussed three fields that is virtual assistants robotics and healthcare this have wide variety of applications in real world which increases efficiency as well as user experience So now what are the challenges and solutions for the challenges? Ambiguity. Ambiguity is the very big challenge. Resolving multiple interpretations of a single sentence. Human language or you can say natural language is a very complex language. Same phrase, same uh, sentence can be used in different situations. So that means ambiguity exists in our language. Context sensitive, that means grasping context changes the meaning of words or phrases. And what, according to the context, the meaning of the words, meaning of the phrases, or you can say based on your voice tone, the meaning of different phrases changes. You can say it can be context sensitive and as well ambiguity. That means ambiguity in the sense more than one meaning for a phrase or a sentence or a word. Next is machine learning, leveraging large data sets to improve accuracy. So we cannot directly say that we can overall uh, remove this ambiguity and context sensitivity from the natural language, but we can minimize this by giving a large set of data as the input contextual understanding incorporating context to redefine interpretations what are the future possibilities emerging trends in this is advancement in ai integration of deep learning for enhanced language understanding contextual intelligence improvement in contextual analysis for more accurate interpretations Next is potential developments for future advancements in language and its applications. Empowering communication, enhanced communication, that means executable semantic parser empowers seamless communication between humans and machines. And next is accessibility, efficiency and user experience. Societal implications, which improves the ethics and also the everyday implication. Mastering language understanding. So mastering language understanding can be done by minimizing the ambiguity as well as the context sensitivity in the language that cannot be happen. So this can be done by using a large data set of actual language to minimize the ambiguity as well as context switching. Thank you.